Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Honorable delegates, hosts, ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor for me to speak to you here today in beautiful Dubai, and I congratulate the ITU and the government of the United Arab Emirates for organizing this important conference. Intel's vision as the world's largest semiconductor manufacturer is to create and extend computing technology to connect and enrich the lives of every person on Earth. We advance this goal through our substantial efforts in education, environmental sustainability, and healthcare, but primarily we advance it through our technically innovative products that power PCs, servers, tablets, phones, and more. In the policy arena, Intel works with governments around the world to foster widespread, affordable, high-quality broadband. And as an active member of the Broadband Commission, we recommend that each country promote facilities-based competition, assign spectrum flexibly, and develop a national broadband plan with specific time-bound goals. Where market forces are insufficient, we recommend the use of an efficiently funded, competitively neutral subsidy mechanism to encourage deployment in rural areas. And because wireless technologies such as LTE can be used to provide wide coverage in rural areas, it is important to ensure that operators have sufficient spectrum below one gigahertz, and it will be important that the World Radio Conference in 2015 meet the growing demand for wireless broadband, including both IMT and Wi-Fi, via Agenda Item 1.1. Finally, Intel strongly supports industry-led voluntary standards. The explosion in the ICT innovation we see around us over the last couple of decades is a direct result of the transition from government-mandated technologies to technology-neutral policies. On the non-policy front, we believe that investing in the education of children by introducing technology in the classroom can produce great benefits. Specifically, connecting all schools and classrooms with broadband will create the digital skills needed by the future workforce. Today, broadband and communications technologies are an integral part of our everyday lives, spawning technical innovation and enabling us to better connect to the world around us. It will be by encouraging competition, including at the facilities level, assigning spectrum flexibly, and the smart use of universal service funds that countries will best be able to grow and compete in the information society. Thank you very much. Thank you.